Hey, hi. How's it going, guys? Um, honestly, this week has been a rough one for me, but before I get into it, hello, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Juliana Rolick. I'm an editor, I'm a writer, and I have a million other hobbies, honestly, so there's that. <laughs> um, I do all sorts of videos on this channel. Every Sunday I do a week in review where, you, where I just tell you about the week. Wednesdays, usually Wednesdays, I do videos that are kind of random, everything from talking about mental health and important topics like that. Sometimes it's topics about my own health or about apps I use that really help me with my writing or I answer questions I find on the internet, all sorts of things. So uh, if you like variety, maybe look around, see if you like what you see, then subscribe. Um, if you have an idea of a video you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments. I will read them and I will try to use as many as I can, and I will give you credit. Assuming that not five million people are asking for the same thing. Then it'll just be one person I random, probably. But I doubt that's going to happen, so no, wor no worries there. Anyway, today is my week in review, so let's get into the week. I don't know how to edit videos yet, so that just made things weird. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, one of the biggest things that happened this week for me is my boyfriend dumped me. We've been together. Oh, that squeaky is my chair. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I heard squeaking and I got confused. Uh, my boyfriend and I had been together for about two years, I'd say. A little bit longer than that, honestly. But I don't know just how much, how much longer. My memory is kind of shot. Uh, I really have to stop moving. Um, so that's been really hard on me. I've cried a lot. I have to distract myself constantly so I don't cry. Um, I'm struggling not to cry right now because of it, but being on camera makes me nervous, so that helps. Um, that was the biggest thing that happened this week by far. It had a major effect on me, but I am trying to be positive about things. I'm trying to pour myself more into my hobbies. I got a new game to play that I started streaming on Twitch. I was going to do it here, but I said I wanted to try Twitch, and I figured that was a good way to try it. But I will eventually get the videos I have done on Twitch and put them on YouTube because I want to. Let's be honest, that's the entire reason for that is I want to because I don't know if anyone really cares about watching me play Littlewood, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, let's see, what else, what else, what else? I've been trying to pour myself not just into my hobbies, like game development, like my writing, which counts as both a hobby and a career path. Um, I enjoy watching TV, obviously. I watch a lot of TV with my father. And, uh, I'm just trying to find more hobbies to fill the void as well. But uh, I'm also trying to pour myself into my social life that never really existed. Um, for those of you who don't understand, my relationship was a long distance relationship, so it's not like we went on dates a lot or anything. We barely saw each other. We saw each other once a year. <laughs> so, so for that aspect, I didn't really have a social life. And in general, I was, I'm not a person who really does outings with people. I'll do them once in a while, but I'm trying to be more active and I'm trying to be more social. And so I've been hanging out with my best friend from uh, high school. Uh, my, he's one of my best friends. He uh, is a great guy. He's a very kind person. And uh, I like hanging out with him, so I figured I should do that more. So we hung out a few weeks ago, as you know. We went to Mitsua. Um, this week I hope to be visiting him at his house just to hang out, probably play games on our computers, things like that. Um, 
But uh, so that's one plan I have. Another plan I've made is I'm going to meet with an online friend next weekend. Um, we're just going to take a walk around the area. But uh, that should be interesting and hopefully all this is fun. Um, because uh, that is the point of trying to do these things is I'm hoping they'll be fun. Um, let's see. I've eaten my weight and sweets this week. I've been just so depressed this week, guys. I can't... I haven't done my journal in days. I really have to do it. But I don't remember anything from the past couple days, really. So, it's going to be hard to fill in things like my mental health uh, questionnaire thing. But, uh... I, um... Need to get back into that. Hopefully I'll be working on that a little later. I'm working on getting better with my meds. Dad, we recently got an Echo, uh, Amazon Echo dot thing and stuff, and we've been debating if we're going to keep it. But Dad set up reminders for our meds every part of the day, pretty much. So uh, actually what's funny is I was shooting this video the first time, it went off saying, hey, it's time to take your afternoon meds. Hey, it's time to take your afternoon meds. And I think it's really loud when it's doing announcements like that. So I had to restart this video. But it, it was just such funny timing. Um, I'm on certain meds that I take once in the morning, once in the evening. I have other meds I take once in the morning, once in the afternoon. So for me, I need to uh, have these multiple alarms, and Dad does as well, so he set these reminders. And uh, I have to say they do work well, because <laughs> I think that would wake up the dead. <laughs> so there's that. I've been playing with the Echo Dot a lot, because that's in the living room, where I am all the time. Uh... It's interesting to be able to play certain types of music on it, albeit it doesn't have a wide variety for certain artists and stuff. I have been able to listen to Nightcore on it without going on to YouTube or anything, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's fun to ask it random stupid questions, which we've done a lot. Um, we've played games on the Echo Show, and some of those games should be on that dot. I don't know. I have to check. Alexa, what games do you have? Okay. I don't know if you heard that, but basically Alexa said she has no idea what her skills are. Anyway, uh... I don't actually know what else to say here. I've been in a rough patch. I have, I do have to see a dermatologist now. I'm going to show him this little dot you see here. It's actually not that little in person. But uh, I'm going to talk to him about that, which my dad honestly just wants to po poke a needle through it and get, it, get its guts out. But my back has a weird kind of raised feel to it, my dad said. I've been having really bad itching on my back, and it hurts really badly when things rub against it. So I made my dad look at my back. First, I just made him do put lotion on my back, but he noticed, hey, this is a little weird. It's a little raised. So I definitely need to see a dermatologist about that. So I have to find a dermatologist. So I'm going to have to talk to my caseworker to help me find a dermatologist. I need too many doctors. I should do a video about that. Also, I want to apologize, speaking of videos, that I didn't do one this Wednesday. Wednesday was the hardest day for me, emotionally, and I just wasn't cut for doing a video. Um, it was Tuesday, I believe, that we broke up. Went Tuesday and Wednesday, I had a lot more crying fits than other days, but yesterday I had a crying fit just from watching a YouTube video from a YouTuber I really enjoy watching. Um, he was cheated on, apparently, by 
the girl he was dating that we didn't know if he was dating or not. We all kind of figured he was, but still. Um, so shout out to Misa. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't finish your video, but I'm proud of you because you are trying your best to be good to you. And I think that's a really important thing is to be good to yourself. I'm one of my goals for this year is in fact to work on being better f to myself, like to be nicer to myself. Uh, don't call myself bad names. Give myself time to grieve in this case. I was taught by my therapists when I was younger, losing someone or a relationship, even if they're not dying, it's still basically the grief process. So I'm going through a grieving process now over my, re my relationship with my ex-boyfriend. But I do hope that once I get through all that, I can go back to being friends with him. Because I was raised to believe friends first. And uh, he was a good friend. And I just hope that uh, I can be a good friend too to him again. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about this week. I have a staff meeting tonight. I'm looking forward to that. I'm probably the only person you know of that gets excited over a staff meeting. But, oh well. Um, I'll probably be playing a lot more Littlewood. I'm a little mad at it though because it froze today when I was playing it. So now I have to redo a bunch of days. Because I'm stupid and didn't save every day. You'll understand what I mean by that better if you uh, watch my videos on Twitch, which I will uh, link to for now in the description box. Um, that's it. That's that. So, that's my week in review. Uh, hopefully this coming week will be a lot better. I'm really looking forward to things, as you can see. I am trying to uh, push myself into being better. Um, I don't know why I keep closing my eyes. I'm very sorry about that. Also, I'm very sorry if you see fl flickering light because I'm seeing on my screen this flickering. Every so often I look more gray. Every so often I look more red. I don't know what the hell is wrong with it. My computer is clearly haunted. Just clearly haunted. Oh yeah, one thing I have been working on is I have officially decided that my main goal for this year, of or my main writing project for the year, is actually can be a series, and uh, it's a supernatural quasi-detective series. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of research, a lot of planning I've been doing. Um, I have great friends who help give me questions to answer so I can figure out how to better expand on the world and the magic systems and stuff. There is so much to plan, guys. I don't know if I'm going to get to write much of it this year, but I'm going to plan it like hell. And uh, then I'm going to write it, and it's going to be amazing. I hope. But that is one thing. I've been trying to enter one writing contest a year, a month, a year. Yeah, that's really explanatory. <laughs> I meant a month. I already entered one this month, and so that's good. Um, okay, I think I'm actually done this time. <laughs> Thank you for listening till the end. I'm very sorry that I ramble so much, and that I wasted minutes of the past 14 minutes trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Um, thank you again for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Bye-bye, guys.